guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms. And, you know, with the latest Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie being out, you know, there's a lot of people talking about this uh, franchise again. And I think it's great, because I've always been a big fan of this series. You know, good film, bad film, whatever. I just love the series a lot. So I figured today, you know, I would go through and talk about my my least favorite to my favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies because you know if you saw my review for the newest film I was not a fan of it whatsoever and it really got me to thinking was it worse than the next generation and that's that's what really spawned this off you know wanting to do this thing so let's get right down to it number seven as my least favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie is yes guys it is definitely Texas Chainsaw 3D now a couple things on this you know I just did a review so I don't want to talk about it too much um, I have thought about a lot more problems with this film since I've done the review. I did that review right after I watched the movie. And there are several other plot holes in this film, guys. One being with the grandma, where the hell does she come from? One being with um, Heather jumping into the coffin when she could have ran into the woods. One being how in the hell did the grandmother find Heather in the first place when Heather was supposed to be a lost child? Makes no sense. I mean, and, and there's more than just that, too. That's just... A quick example, but you know you might think, okay, guys, is it, it, J or okay, Jason, is this really worse than the Next Generation? Here's my reasoning here: the the acting in the Next Generation is no doubt worse than Texas Chainsaw 3D, but due to the plot holes and all this other shit with the film, and there's a lot of other stuff to this, guys. Honestly, there really is. There's way more than what I've mentioned in my review and mentioned here too. But due to all of those reasonings, I do think it is the worst Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. It, it's the biggest mess. It really is the biggest mess. Now, what, now, was it entertaining? Could you find entertainment in this still? Yeah, I could see so because I've calmed down on it. I, I was just hoping for a good movie, and what we got instead was a good, bad movie if you know what I mean, in a Troll 2 type of way. That's how I look at it. So that is the worst for me. Number six, okay, another. No no surprise, no shocker here, The Next Generation. Um, and I just watched this movie again last night to make sure that I really thought the new one was worse. And this movie is bad, guys. It really is. But, um, you know, it still has its elements in it. Matthew McConaughey's awesome in it. He's, he's, still, he's a fun bad guy. Some of the dialogue is just so fucking crappy. You just you can't not love it, you know. Garbage film, but still entertaining at times. Uh, let's see, that was six. Number five for me is going to be the remake. Um, I'm just not a fan of this movie. I mean, it's it's okay. It's decent. You know, it kicked off the whole remake trend, so I kind of hate it at the same time, too. Um but I like the first half of the film better than the second half. You know, that's the thing I've noticed with this. I I just like it up to a certain point, and it's, it tends to be right after the halfway point. I just lose interest in it. And I don't know. It's it's not just not very good. I don't know. I just don't really like it. Um, but I love this edition of it. I mean, it's a really cool-ass big fucking chainsaw. This thing folds out. It's like be halfway across my room here. But it's a huge ass chainsaw. It's got the metal. Uh, let's see here, little metal plate, crime scene photos. So it's a really, really nice addition, guys. But just an average movie. Um, oh yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a rating on these too. Uh, for the new film, I've actually bumped it down to a two out of ten. Uh, nah, one and a half out of ten. Because this will go for a 2 out of 10. Uh, the remake, I give it a 5. Because, you know, like I said, I like about half of it. So I give it a 5 out of 10. Um, so, okay, that's number 5. Number, f uh, is that right? Let's see. 7, 6, 5. Okay, number 4 for me. Which I don't have a legit copy right here in front of me. 
um, would be Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Um, it's probably the one I know the least and have seen the least. I like it. It's basically a remake in and of itself. You know, there's new family members here. It's got Kim Free in it. Um, it's kind of like the heavy metal Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. It's fun. I enjoy it a lot. But like I said, I know it the least. Um, so, coming up at number three would be part two. Um, I like it. I just, I'm not a huge, huge fan of it. Um, you know, I, I think it's uh, Dennis Hopper. I always like Dennis Hopper. He is way, way over the top in this film. Uh, more so than what you would normally expect him to be. But it's the material. How can And also, how can you not like Chop Top, Jim Sidat, c Daz in it? Um, it's great. It's, it's, it's great. Um, you know, I, I just... I don't hold it in very high regard because of the cheese factor. It just doesn't work too well for me in this. Um, and, you know, two and three, I could probably just twist those around and have two in front, or three in front of this. Oh, yeah, and sorry I'm tired, guys, but uh, three, I will also give a five out of ten. This one, I'm also going to give a five out of ten. Um, yeah, entertaining. Uh, this is a fan favorite, no question. I still never picked up the Blu-ray of this. Number two for me, and I know I may take some heat for this, it is The Beginning. Yes, for me, this is hands down the second best in the series. I absolutely love this film. I think that it is an underrated gem. And I, and I, I really think that if a lot of people that hated this film, horror fans, went back and watched it now, your feelings may be a little bit different on this. If you can go back... Because now it's easier to separate it from the remake. Because when it first came out, of course, it's easily tied to it. But now it's—I just think it's easier to watch this on its own. And if you do, guys, and can just look at it as an entry to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, mythology, which is all fucked up to begin with, this is actually a fucking gruesome ass film and very—it's um, just gritty as hell and very very dark toned and just a depressive style film but in a good way if that makes any sense um, I just love the brutality of this film it's it's how I've always explained this is it is the first and still to this day only Texas Chainsaw Massacre film that is truly a Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface just saws the shit out of people in this film I mean you always have one here or there in all the films but in this one, he is just beyond brutal, dude. You know, he just saws everyone to hell. I love it. Love this nice slip cover on it. It's an embossed cover. I need to get the Blu-ray of this as much as I love this film. But give it another shot, guys. I challenge you, if you hate this film, give it another shot. Just look at it on its own and judge it by that, and then, you know, let me know what you think of it. But that's number two, and I give this a 9 out of 10. You know, it might be rating out a little bit too high, you might think, but for me, no question, guys. I love it. And was there any question for number one? I mean, come on. This is kind of silly. <sighs> yep. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint you, but I got the original number one and not Texas Chainsaw 3D. I'm sorry about that. You know, that, that, that shit just drives me crazy. I have seen... Okay, I don't have any problem with people liking the new film at all. I I think it's a piece of trash. It's entertaining to me, but it is a piece of trash. But I don't care who likes it and who doesn't. But what just completely blows my mind is seeing these people posting shit on Facebook and on websites saying that they think that this is the best Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Go to the Texas Chainsaw 3D Facebook page, just click on one of their posts, and look at the posts that people's put on there, and you will shake your head. I just, I can't, it just blows my mind. It blows my mind. Um, but anyway, back to topic here. Number one, the all-time classic, really the only film that was ever needed in this series, you know, I'm I'm entertained by all these films, but this is really all you need. If this is the only one you ever see, honestly, at the end of the day, you're not going to miss out on anything because this is just such. Uh, it's it's a god of horror films. I mean, this is one that you put on a throne and you bow to. I mean, you know, and this edition is just unreal. I mean, I know some people don't like this edition because they think it looks too clean, but. 
I disagree with that because it still keeps the grittiness and the grain to it. They just cleaned up the colors and cleaned up the transfer, took all the, the little, you know, uh, dust and debris out of the print. Um, they didn't change the look of the film. They just they they made the colors look better, but it still looks true to its time, just in high def. I, that's that's what I think. Um, this is truly the ultimate edition. Um, I know the Dark Sky version is really cool too, um, and this is the, my old DVD copy, which I have signed by Gunnar Hansen. Jason, you're next. Uh, this is the first time I met him was at Horror Hound Weekend. Um, and got this one signed. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in this, but I'll show you. Yeah, it is. I, I like this. It's got, um, oh shit, the dinner scene there, and then it's got the hook scene there in the background on this, on the Blu ray. Inside this one, I think this has some, yeah. Got a little insert, which they don't really do that too much anymore. I miss that. It's got that going on there, Terry McMahon on the hook. Yeah, autograph edition, and then this one's really cool. I'm sure most of you've seen this. this. is from the UK. I actually won this on a uh, contest here, right on YouTube, and I took it to Cinema Wasteland. Uh, well, I'll just I'll show you this first. This is just an awesome edition. This is all Region Two, so you'd have to have an all Region player to play it, of course. And check this out. Took it to Cinema Wasteland last year. Ta-da! Another signature from the man, Gunnar Hansen. Just fucking cool as shit, man. I love this edition. Really, really cool. It's uh, from Austria or something, I believe. It's all in, like, German and shit. Can you read that? I can't, but I'm sure I can guess what it says. So, yeah, number one for me. You know, sorry to disappoint not pick the new one, all you noobs out there. But it is the original, which is hands down, no question, 10 out of 10, one of the all-time best horror films. Um, you know, this one kind of bounces around in my top five like a lot of them do, but this is definitely in my top five all-time favorite horror films. So, yeah, guys, I hope that you uh, like this little video I put together here. Um, just figured I would do this since, you know, people's talking about the Chainsaw series. Um, yeah, so uh, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate you all watching. Um, I appreciate you all uh, taking the time out to watch some of my Hitchcock reviews. I mean, I know I'm like fucking unlo unleashing here, you know, one a day for uh, this whole month. So hope you're enjoying those too. And um, I guess that's it for now, guys. I'm going to hop off here and get to bed. I have to work early in the morning and only going to get about five hours sleep. Yay! All right, guys. Have a good one. Later.